Hey guys, so did this pour and this is going to be another episode of what else you can do with your pores. <laughs> like as in acrylic pores, not on your face. Sorry girls. Um, so on this one I actually wanted to add a couple sea turtles and I do want to make this simple, easy and quick. Something that hopefully pretty much anyone could do if they wanted to. Uh, I think since this kind of seems like my light source. I kind of want to have them swimming over here. Yes, this is going to make sh probably part of that cell is going to get covered up, which sucks, but that's okay. The rest of the painting is super awesome. I'd rather cover up part of that than cover up any of this. So what we're going to do is we're going to zoom in here so that you guys can see a little better, and then we'll get started. All right, so I'm zoomed in on the corner here. Um, first thing is to um, go ahead, and I'm doing these in black, right? is to go ahead and just make a couple little kind of egg shapes which will be your bodies for your turtles. I'm going to add two turtles here. Um, yeah, that cell right there is really bothering me. You know what, I'm going to put a turtle there and then I'm going to put a turtle here. That's what we're going to do. I really don't want to go over that cell. So, um, my motto is start small. You can make it bigger, you can't make it smaller. So, you know, make these as big as you want. I want these to be kind of small turtles. All right, I'm gonna use a slightly bigger brush just for the body here. Uh, turtles have fairly round shells, but they're generally a little bit oval. So you're going to go just really slowly on this part until you are happy with the size. So I'm happy with that one. I'm going to make this one a little bit bigger. Now I just want to say that there are probably many ways you can paint a turtle. This is just the one that I choose because it's easy. So I've got my two little bodies there. I'm going to actually zoom in a little bit more. Okay, we're now going to add the heads, which how I do the heads is basically kind of like a rounded diamond. So I'm getting my brush ready. This is not the best brush. Okay. Okay. So remember, turtles have tiny heads. So definitely start small on this part. Just a little rounded diamond there. Okay. We'll go ahead and we'll give our second turtle a head. These do not have to be perfect. All right, now they've both got heads. Okay, I'm going to smooth this one out just a little bit. Okay. And now we're going to add arms. Now these are sea turtles. Sea turtles tend to have very large arms. So I'm going to go out and then down. And out and then down. Okay, and then you can adjust the size a little bit, make them a little bit thicker. Good. All right, and then I do like to, I almost forgot this part, I do like to point the end of the tail here, the end of the, what, well, what would be the body here, just because that kind of gives an indication of a tail. And then down here, we're just going to literally add two little lines for the legs. And that is literally it. You have a sea turtle. Let's go ahead and give this guy some arms. Okay. 
I'm going to actually turn this a little bit. kind of indication of a tail here and then his little legs and there you have it two little sea turtles I think they're adorable you can definitely go further and go ahead and do some lighting on the shells sorry <laughs> or anything like that totally fine um, I'm just going to keep this one simple. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom out so you guys can see the whole thing. And there you have it. A quick and easy way to add sea turtles to your pour. I hope you enjoyed this. Do not forget to subscribe and we'll see you next time.